Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here, and welcome back to another crypto video. And I guess I gotta start off by saying congratulations to every freaking XRP holder. We made it to $1.50. <laughs> what a crazy day, everybody! <laughs> Yesterday was amazing. The stream was awesome. The energy was awesome. Twitter was going crazy because XRP went wild, huh? Now, I've already made a small little video explaining what is most likely about to happen to the XRP price tomorrow. But to give you guys a little rundown already, we might get a huge pump still because this document that Ripple's going to give out is going to be amazing. But it might also keep cooling down a little bit because, well, it's really just only one little document, one little proposition. It is nothing to crazy it's basically just the motion to dismiss but once more a complete guide type of video is coming out uh, a little bit after this so stay tuned right now crypto mommy said lol all the people who said xrp wouldn't move until the lawsuit was over i tried to tell you for months i mean i gotta take a little sip here because mm, it's been an amazing day but yeah i've also had exactly this problem I've told you guys over the last couple of days, $1.20 for XRP is coming and $1.50 was my own prediction, right? So $1.20 was hit. We were really happy about that. A little bit afterwards, we bought the dip once more. Look at this one. So we bought the dip uh, three times. Now we got to go buy it a fourth time, like right now, by the way. But we bought the dip once, I believe twice here, the third time. And now we're going to buy maybe the fourth time as we're already down a little bit on the Bitcoin pair. Every time it has worked like a freaking charm because XRP was bound to keep rocketing upwards. However, this is all kind of last minute because I've told you guys for months that XRP is, a, is about to be a freaking rocket. I mean, we've told it about VeChain and about ADA, so it's not like it's XRP the only one because me and ADA, we've also said before, is going to go crazy and that one had some huge surges. VeChain, we've talked about like crazy, had some huge surges and X, uh, XLM2. But it's about the idea, you know, XRP, of course, is one of my favorite coins, as you guys know. So it's a little, it, it hits a little bit more differently to see this coin pump right now. It just does me even a little bit better. Now, Sean here also says, or Seal says, I'll admit, I was one of those people, however, when it comes to public companies engaged in court litigation, their stock prices typically only begin to rise once settlement talks or a favorable verdict are in the air. But the thing is, if you really start to think about it, Ripple had this lingering lawsuit already there for years. If you think about it, back in 2017 when the price was rising, there was always this threat of, hmm, but XRP is really a security. That's what a lot of people used to say back then too. So that they were going to get sued eventually was already in the cards. We already kind of knew it. Uh, we only thought that they might get just a, a verdict or a different type of system that would kind of measure it, rather than an SEC lawsuit on the last day of OJ Clayton's reign, as you guys all know, it was a little bit strange. And I personally also told you guys, I don't think we're going to really go to 3 to $5 before we win the lawsuit, but I did expect it to kind of gain gradually as we get more positive news in the lawsuit, because my own explanation of it was, the XP price will most likely represent the process in the lawsuit. So the price will go down if the lawsuit goes bad, and it'll go good as the lawsuit goes good. And generally speaking, crypto is not as big as a lot of these companies where crypto right now has communities. There's a couple hundred thousand people in the XP community who are just watching every mother freaking move, right? So yeah, they buy and sell according to the news as well, I think. Most of them are just hodlers, but we're not the big fish, right? We also got to kind of consider these guys with billions and billions of XRP. They most likely just follow the, the, the flow as well. They just buy whenever they feel as if this loss is going to be fixed. At least that's what sounds logical to me. You would logically speak and just buy uh, more, the more certain you are about this loss. And right now, I would say having a full XRP portfolio is not even a bad thing, right? It's not even a bad thing. It's not me. I don't have a full portfolio of XRP, but still, I would have liked it. <laughs> would have been happy if I did. And a little question for you all, all right? Is at least 50% of your portfolio on XRP? Let me know in the comment section down below. And make sure you press the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And make sure you press the subscribe button too. Now, FLR actually gained as much as XRP has. Right now, it is sitting at about $1.56 going completely mental. And that's really interesting. Because this flare is not the flare which we are about to get. If you don't have any flare on BitTrue, you're never going to get it. All right? Because, well, I already got some X, uh, flare on here because I have XRP on there. Yeah, let's just keep it like that. It's just free freaking FLR. But the thing is, the real Flare Networks, the whole main net hasn't been launched. There isn't really any Flare just quite yet. There, It isn't live. This is just an IOU issued by BitTrue. 
And I would also say the price that we're seeing here per flare, if that is really what's going to happen eventually once it rolls out, I will maybe just quit YouTube and enjoy the happy life because that is going to be insane. I'm going to say that's going to be completely insane. So many people who just had XRP have now gotten their money just quadrupled. I don't even know why. It's just going to be so ridiculously crazy. Uh, so, yeah, that would be awesome from a certain degree. I would definitely go cry a little bit. I might even just go walk around the city without pants. I'm not sure exactly what I would do, but it would do some crazy stuff. So I'm not going to expect it. But since it could happen on Bitru, it can happen everywhere. It is at least possible. Yeah, think about it. Right now, the flare outstanding is a couple, couple bill, maybe a billion, not even, not even more than that, most likely. Or maybe even a couple million only. Maybe not even a couple million. It's probably not a lot of uh, FLR that's in circulation right now. You can see here the volume is 400,000 FLR. In the end, there's going to be 100 billion FLR. So, yeah. <laughs> It's not going to be too... Oh, a lot of people are saying it's going to be 45 billion FLR. No, it's going to be 100 billion FLR. It's just the same as XRP, but the 55 billion is just given to the team and the, uh, you know, the, yeah, just let's just call it just the team. Now, Flare is actually not the entire thing that I'm too excited about, this Flare network. It's mostly the Flare finance and all the staking that's going to be made possible on XRP that's going to really be the determining factor for me. Because right now, I'm mostly using Bitru to gain profit, but I really would like a... Yeah, I would like a native, more native approach to things or something. I don't know, the Flare Finest thing sounds really like a cool idea. So that's mostly why I'm holding. Um, but yeah, let's move on. David Swartz has actually posted something on Twitter. And I covered it in the live stream already, but some of you guys might not watch those. So I might, you know, it might be smart to quickly come back to it. If the price of XRP stays above a dollar for two weeks, I will personally start advocating for a drop in the XRPL reserve requirements from 20 and 5 to 10 and 2. XP Crypto Wolf said 20 plus to open an XP wallet isn't that bad when people are willing to pay hundreds for Ethereum gas fees. He has a really good problem. However, somebody says, would it make more sense to implement a variable reserve, a reserve that changed based on the USD price? And David Swartz, with a really solid answer here, says, the problem with that is that raises in the reserve are very painful to users, and I really agree with that. Lowering it is really simple, really easy, but if you're raising it all of a sudden, that's going to be very annoying because all of a sudden some XRP is locked that you didn't thought was locked before. In his own words, I think it's a top priority. Oh, painful to users causing XRP to become locked that previously wasn't. I think it's a top priority to avoid that unless totally unavoidable. That's why I haven't supported lowering the reserve in the past. Now, I would say lowering it is fine as long as you know the price is going to be solid from there on forward. And he basically now has put the the key factor as if XRP stays above a dollar, he will personally start advocating for it. Doesn't mean it will happen, but in some more difficult words here, here's the exact meanings of it all. The reserve requirement is divided into two parts. The base reserve is a minimum amount of XRP that is required for every address in the ledger. Currently, this is 20 XRP. The owner reserve is an increase to have, uh, sorry guys, to the reserve requirement for each object that the address owns in the ledger. Currently, that is 5 XRP. Now, if you look a little bit back at this, there's somebody else who asked, but what does it mean? Here you can see, and somebody else replied, instead of XRPL accounts requiring 20 XRP to activate them and 5 XRP for trust lines, it'll be lowered to 10 and 2 respectively. It's pretty simple if you start to think about it. It's just cheaper wallets, right? Make it simple for yourself. It's just cheaper freaking wallets. Here's about what it's uh, what a trust line is. You guys can see everything. <clears throat> it's not that hard. You just got to quickly know for yourself and go over it. Uh, but here's the source. XPL.org has everything that you need to know, actually. Uh, literally, it has everything. <laughs> if you're wondering about something, go read through this. It will take a little bit of time, but it's going to be so worth it because you'll be so knowledgeable on XRP. I've done that, taking a little bit of time, but once more, it is definitely worth it. Specifically for me, because I update you guys on XP all the time. If I didn't know my stuff, it would be a little bit strange, right? I think that would be a little bit strange. So yeah, it takes once more, it takes a little bit of time to go through it, but it's worth it in my opinion. You just quickly check what it's made out of. And I mean, if some people had to make it, what, what is the job for me to just quickly read through to see exactly what they make? Because I didn't have to make it. So I'm already too happy to just be able to be a, a viewer like that and still be involved with the technology because, well, we hold XRP. And it kind of feels as if we're part of the bigger system, even though we're just small fries, small fish. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of feels, it, it kind of makes me feel good to know I'm an XRP holder and looking at all these intricate technology that I could never come up with. It's just really funny in my opinion. 
Then also one thing I posted a little bit earlier. This is this is what happens every single freaking time. You have these bigger cryptos, right? They're all big cryptos. They're all pretty much known. They all are on the same kind of line. They all kind of go up at the same type of pace where Bitcoin, I guess, will be a little bit different than the rest, but they mostly just go on the same type of pace. Then XRP usually is a little bit more behind. It lags behind a little bit, but it goes with the freaking elastic bands. It just goes phew, past everybody once it actually starts going. So it will take a little bit longer for it to go. But once it goes, it goes significantly harder than most other cryptos do. And that's something you shouldn't forget. It happens every single time. Right now, we're witnessing that once more. If XRP goes on with the way it's going right now, we'll be back at all-time high in like two days or so. But literally, this is what happened back in the big bull run in 2000, whatever, too. 2017, 18. This is literally what was happening back there. We were calling it out a couple of days ago. Look, look at this. These were huge gains, right? Well, maybe not if you're going to compare it to what's going to happen right now. And all of a sudden, well, now that we're at $1.30 and stuff like that, $20 per XP doesn't look that crazy anymore. How huh? so many people were laughing before? It doesn't look that crazy to me, to be honest. Then enterprise level partnerships sent V chain price to new highs. I didn't really want to cover all of this because I think I've already done that in the live stream and a couple of other uh, videos partially here and there. But VeChain is still one of my best bets. The only problem is it is extremely expensive right now to buy. And I find it really difficult to do so because we had so many chances to buy VeChain at $0.002. So that's really hard for me. A little side note. And ADA, $8 per ADA. He basically says ADA has a fixed supply and it's basically going to, going to compete with Ethereum. I would say there's a good chance of that happening in the longer term. So I would say, yeah, he has some legitimacy to that. And keep it in the back of your head, all right, that it is definitely something which could happen. <laughs> that uh, this coin is going to really be taken over and basically fight with Ethereum to become the number one. Something you should understand. And then Dogecoin went completely trending right now because the coin is pumping a little bit. I still have some sell orders in place for like 10 cents or so. Because last time we only hit about 9.5, I think. But all those people who bought Dogecoin with the... Uh, whole GME hype most likely are going crazy right now too <laughs> but it's pretty funny to see Dogecoin go trending I just I don't know I like it personally it's just a funny thing but yeah that was it for today's video hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did make sure you press the like button and subscribe because I update you guys on crypto every single day so go subscribe and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video all right take care everybody and have a very nice day once more a video about what's going to happen to the XP price is coming out a little bit later today so stick around stay tuned